Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's 9th Avenue in class again today. How have you been? We are going to continue on our series and on this video, we are going to convert the DMS we had earlier to what? To decimal degrees. And um, there are different, let's there are a few key points we are going to consider. We have to give you an update on the previous video. We are using the limited now, no longer fixed week because there was a challenge on that video which uh, someone, a viewer on the comment section gave us a suggestion that uh, we should use the limited now. Then we are going to concatenate the DMS, then convert the DMS to decimal degrees, finally import it to, to QGIS because that's actually the crux of the whole exercise, right? Good. And also note that uh, we have our nothings and our Y as our latitude. And then we have our eastings and our x as well as our longitude because this is actually important when we want to work on QGIS. Good. Now let's see. The first thing is what the update on the last video. So on our last video, I think we, we are using the longitude, right? Good. So on our last video, we add um, a set of numbers when we try to get um, when we got our um, minutes, right? No minutes. Good. When we got our minutes. Some of the numbers we are having two or three, okay, one or two um, digits before the decimal. So we are going to use these um, degrees in this video for that um, illustration. So we are going to use different numbers or different digits before the decimal just to make the emphasis. So the suggestion on the previous video was that we should try the limited because if the data set was actually in thousands, we couldn't have been doing them one after the other. So we had to look at the limited and we saw that it was more efficient. So we had to what, update you guys on how to use it. So let's say you have um, 12 here and instead of 12 here, you have um, 120 for the other one. And instead of um, 12 here, you have just 2 for this other one. You know, you now see that for the decimal, we have 3 digits here, we have 2 digits here, and we also have 1 digit here. So how do you want to convert the whole of this text to whole of right? Good. So how do you do it? So the first thing is what you highlight the whole of the of the data set which is actually the column right good then when you do that remember that what we need is to have the whole numbers and the whole numbers are actually the numbers that are before the decimal so in this case we need 120 as our own number which is serve as our degrees right we need them um, two as our own number which is serve as our degrees and then we need 12 or maybe 13 or yeah 13 or 12 or the rest of the numbers as our own numbers that will serve as our degrees so for us to do that effectively we need to do what we need to use this method one sheet so the first thing is what control h which is what to find and replace now the essence of using control h is because we want to find some numbers here so we want to find a character yeah we want to find a character here and replace it with another set of character so the character we are looking for is the decimal which is the, the dot right or the point and we want to replace it with uh, let's say we want to replace with them um, asterisk and um, dot or something sorry asterisk and dot right good we want to replace it with asterisk and dot we are going to see why we are doing that as we progress on the video so let's um, replace all right actually replaced and then we can close which means on our data set instead of having um, just 12.930817 we are now having 12 asterisk point nine three zero. so we are going to see why we did this so upon arranging or upon preparing or yeah upon preparing the data set like this we now come to our we come to our data then we go to what the text to column command now Instead of using the fixed width, we are going to use what the limited as suggested by our viewer, right? Good. Then we come to next. Now, under next, we have um, the different limiters as it has been displayed. This screen lets you set the limiters your data contains. You can see how your text is affected in the preview below. So we are using others because tab serves like most times the default. So we are using others. And under others, the delimiter we are going to use now is the asterisk that we want we introduced. So we just click on asterisk. When we use the asterisk, you can see that the decimal numbers have all gone to the right hand side, whereas the degree have gone to the left hand side and they are separated by what a line. Unlike when we use the word, unlike when we use the fixed width. 
that we had to be using manually or maybe doing them manually so that we can have all the the degrees on one side and all the other seconds or let's see the seconds and the minutes to the other side which is what the other decimal parts to the other side so we believe that this is more effective and then efficient so you now see that all your whole numbers are on the left hand side whether they are two digits or whether they are three digits and then the other part of the decimal are what on the right hand side so the, the delimiter or let's say yeah, the most important part of this video is how to use what the delimiter and then knowing the delimiter you're using that's why we introduce what asterisk before it's actually asterisk before the decimal not decimal before the asterisk please also take note of that it's actually what the asterisk before the decimal so when you do that just okay next there is nothing much you can just finish so when you finish you now see that what all your degrees are on one column then the decimal are what on the other column so you can now proceed with all the explanations we have given to you on the previous video we hope that um, this actually suffices we are going to leave the link um, to this video on the comment section and we are going to leave a comment on it so that it can help or it can guide them um, some other guys that are going to see it as they continue with um, the other video so upon doing this um, we believe that we've actually tried to fix what that problem good now there is another part of this video we want to shoot you which is what the concatenate is actually trying to join text together right good so now let's come to let's come to formula let's go to text and then let's look at um, the concatenate right good so before we do that let's see what they have for us there joins several test strings into one test string right that's what it does good so we click on it now, what we want to do now is that we want to concatenate what our degree, minute, and second. Remember that what we had earlier was just degrees on one column, minutes on the, on the other column, and then seconds on the other column, right? So we want to have the degree, minutes, and seconds together on one column because most times that's how they appear, you know, for, for them to be more presentable. Let's just use that. And, you know, we have um, different cells we can use to do the concatenation. So now let's start. The first thing is what we want to bring in degrees then we come to our next column now the next column we have what our what our degree symbol so we just do um, now before ever you type in degree symbols you must put it in a you must add it in a quote yeah you must add it in a quote if you are typing it manually that means if you are not clicking on the cell if you are not clicking on the cell if you're clicking on the cell excel does the quoting itself but if you're typing it manually, as you can even see on the preview, you must put it, you must attach it in a quote, right? Good. I don't know if it looks like Python. So now for us to have our what our degree symbol, we are going to use this um, shortcut on your keyboard. You just um, type or let's say all together. You have um, alt 0176, right? Good. Then that gives you the, the, the degree symbol, right? That gives you the degree symbol. So you also include your second quote to close that um, to close that particular text then the next thing in the concatenation is what our minute so we come to the next column ensure that you always click on the next column else it will be joined together so we come to our minute right good then we come to the next column remember that for the minute we have um, our is it um, apostrophe right so you see that um, you can even see on the preview what you've done so we already have 12 degrees 55 minutes right good then we come to the next column that next column gives us the room to impute our seconds right good and then the seconds also as a symbol and the symbol for the seconds is actually a quote so we have them um, double quote here and then we quote i think four times good that four times as you can see on the screen so we have them um, we have it one two three four Good. so we have four times and you can now see we have 12 degrees 55 minutes 50.9412 seconds right so we have been able to concatenate our degree minutes and seconds to one particular cell as you can see on this um, on this particular on this particular cell so we can just say okay then when we say okay we can see that it has been what has been concatenated so we have about 12 degrees um, 55 minutes 50 points what nine four one seconds so we can decide to good 
we can decide to what we can decide to auto fill them so this is um let's just call this um this um cockat or something right let's see how that goes so we let's just try to let's just try to okay good so these are you concatenate it good now we have been able to achieve that on this video now let's look at the next part of the video good now the next part of the video is that you were given your your coordinates in dms and you want to convert the dms to to decimal degrees right good so you remember in our basic um do we call it here in our basic mathematics we were taught that um, 60 seconds make one minute 60 minutes make one hour and you know all the rest of that so those things are applied yeah those concepts are applied as we improve or let's say as we build on our yeah in our mathematics yes let's use that because you know mathematics is actually applied in almost all the fields now so now let's say you have what your degree minute and seconds in different fields sorry in different columns as it has been stated here and you want to convert it towards to decimal degrees so the first thing you are going to do is that you come to an empty cell you say equal to then you pick your degrees which is this right plus you come to your minute now when you want to convert this your minutes to degrees you divide by what you divide by 60 right you divide by 60 you hit the plus again then the next thing is what you come to your second now, this, the reason why we said we are converting it to degrees is that we want to convert all the three, which is your degree, minute, and seconds, to equal um, equal units, which is in degrees. So by the time we convert all to equal units, which is actually in degrees, it can actually be what displayed in decimal degrees. Are we together? It can be displayed in decimal degrees, no longer degree, minute, and seconds, right? So that's what we are trying to do. So the first thing is what your degree does not have any division, which is this cell b2 right b3 rather then the second thing is what your cell c3 which is actually the minute will be divided by 60 and they are all joined by what um, addition right then you come to what your cell d4 then you divide that by 3600 you know you remember in our basic mathematics right good 60 seconds make one minute 60 minutes make one hour. so when you are converting from the seconds to degrees then it's actually what uh, 3600 so now let's hit what enter so when you hit enter you should be able to see something like this right which is the equivalent of 12 degrees 55 minutes 50.94 seconds in decimal degrees so you can decide what auto fill or you just what drag down as the case may be then you will see the equivalent as it is being displayed by excel right good so with this you can now see your your degree minute and seconds concatenated at this point and then still converted back to what decimal degrees and you can see that um, the decimal degrees we have right now are actually equal to the decimal degrees we started with because on the first video we converted our decimal degrees to what degree minute and seconds right good now on this video we are converting the degree minute and seconds back to decimal degrees because you can actually have your coordinates in different formats and whatever format you have now you can be able to what walk walk them through and you know move them from whatever uh, what do you call it move them from um, whatever form to the other without what having challenges right so you now have what your decimal degrees as it's been stated here to degree minute and seconds and you still have your degree minute and seconds back to what today's magic is. So this is the other part of the key point on this video, right? So the next thing is for us now to what import our decimal degrees towards to QGS, right? Good. So we have what our decimal degrees arranged in longitude and latitude on Excel. It's simply just a copying all the latitude in um, decimal degrees to a particular column copying all the longitude in decimal degrees towards to another column right good so that's actually what we've done as you can see here and the next thing we want this to what is to save it in um, gis compatible format especially qgis which we are going to use on this video and then import it to yeah we are going to now bring it into what to qgis the next thing is what you go to file 
you go to savers good and then under the savers you ensure that you select them um, csv right right under the savers you ensure that you select csv which is a um, command limited right good so you save yeah let's replace it because we are trying to show so we actually saved it right the next thing now is for us to assess it on qgis good so this is qgis you come to layer you go to what add layer then you go to what add delimited text layer right good now under the delimited text layer you can see different file formats and then you can also see the geometry definition now let's bring in our file first good we have what our last long here right we actually saved it on that folder good we have our last long here so you can see that the file format csv then the geometry definition is actually very important because it's not just um, a point for attributes you no know? it's actually a coordinate actually a set of coordinates right the points are a point coordinates because we need them as um, longitude and latitude good now the reason why we left this particular note here was to guide us at this point right good now let's see we left this note here good we left this note here to guide us now our x field is for what for the longitude and then our y field is for what is for the latitude so it has been automatically selected so maybe if yours is not selected always make sure that you remember that what your nothings or your y is actually your latitude then your eastings or your x is actually what your longitude right good so it is actually fixed your y is your latitude and then your x is what your longitude so there is no need to um, set them again then the geometry crs if it is on projected which is a um, wj64 utm zone 32 31 33 or whatever the zone is ensure that you make it what the geographic by selecting wj64 not um, zone 32 or 43 or whatever the case is to ensure that it's on what it's on 32 right so it's on 32 now so upon selecting or upon fixing all of these we can be able to confirm or we have confirmed that yes uh um, coordinates are set and then we can just add and then we do what we close right good so these are the points that we've actually what these are the points we've actually imported or yeah we've actually imported what as um, a delimited text right good so you can just continue using it for whatever you want to use it for maybe if you want to check confirm from the attribute table you can see how they are on the attribute table you have your what you have your last long and your whatever the case is so this is the extent of today's video as we've shown you to proceed you can decide to overlay it on um, the osm um, yeah usm plugin or yeah usm map right or maybe you come to web and then you go to quick map services and then you go to google and you know you overlay it on your google satellite or whatever the case is so depending on what you want to achieve with it we've actually shown you how you can import it to what you get. so this is the extent of um, today's video we hope we have been able to cover the key points update on the last video concatenate convert dms to decimal degrees and finally import so what to QGIS and we've shown you how to use your nothings and your eastern as what well, latitude and then um, longitude so we hope we've provided solution to this um, um solving problem and thanks for coming to class if you have any question if you have any suggestion we want to appreciate that viewer that um, gave us this um, that gave us the suggestion on using the limited so if you have any suggestion you can still leave it on the comment section and we are going to get back to you so yeah we are going to see in our next video ensure you check the description section to help us buy a coffee because it's actually very very important for us you know by encouraging us ensure you share it with your friends your colleagues you know just keep sharing it and ensure you keep staying safe and then um, have a very good time we are going to see you very soon bye